We'll begin from Nigeria, where President Muhammadu Buhari has urged the media to address the tone, content, and standard of reporting into, into, into security, I beg your pardon, and safety measures. Now, this was contained in a statement signed by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Geba Shil, to congratulate all Muslims and Nigerians of all faith on the occasion of this year Idel Mulid. Well, President Buhari said they are the term rising insecurity should be replaced with uh, the term reality of declining insecurity. Hmm. Well, adding that significant gains are being made in combating insecurity in the country. Now, he also noted that there has been an increased activity by the armed forces, the police and also intelligence agencies have also embarked upon uh, to effectively respond to the security challenges in the nation and called on the media to address the tone, content and standards of reporting into security and safety measures. Now, on the Eid al-Mulid holiday, the president has urged Muslims to strive to strive for forgiveness and closeness to the noble life and teachings of the prophet. Now, joining us this morning to discuss the statement made by the number one citizen is journalist and public affairs analyst, Gaudi Ofose. Welcome, Gaudi. Welcome to the program this morning. Now, as a journalist, what do you make out of the state of the president's statement, especially saying in his terms, rising insecurity should be replaced with the reality of declining insecurity. Is the president's statement, I mean, looking at what he has said, does, does it really make any difference? Good morning, Oye. Good morning, Oye. It's been a while. It's been a while I've seen you guys. You guys are doing a great job. First, first off, I think uh, we have, uh, the president wants to also, after retiring as the president, you want to join us in the profession and uh, perhaps uh, be on the field to report um, um, for his papers or for his TV or whatever platform you work for. Uh, that said, I feel that the president does not have the right to tell the journalist the headline to, to cast. And, and again, you can't say that on the eve of, the, on the eve of um, when 30 people are just killed in one state. I mean, I don't understand when you come up to say that people should be saying the opposite. I mean, the president cannot be encouraging journalists to lie. They cannot be encouraging fake news. Uh, what president says is tantamount to asking journalists to dwell or report fake news. Um, well, um, if the, the president would have come out to say that, please don't report any form of insecurity again, perhaps. It would have been understandable, but I mean, coming out to say that we should say the direct opposite of what is happening in the country, I can I can phantom. Yeah, got it. Well, I suppose it it, it does really puzzle uh, perhaps public um, mind, especially when it comes to an editorial you mind I'm, like yours. I am back. Yeah, go on. Go I am back. I am back now. So oh. I, I I feel it's not right. Um, it shouldn't be so. Um, presidents should encourage journalists, the professional, to continue to tell the truth. Our our ethics is very clear. You gather the news, report it the way it is. Don't slant it. Don't color it. There's no need for too much sensationalism. There's no too much. There's no need for too much emotion in your story. Um, again, that's why whenever there is an incident, whenever there is a casualty, you will see different platforms coming up with numbers. But what is fact is that that thing happened. So um, coming out to say that we should be saying there is a, a declining security situation in the country. Hmm. All right, uh, Gaudi, uh, you know, I need to answer this, uh, this one because it's uh, quite an interesting here. As a journalist and, you know, public affairs analyst yourself, uh, is there a risk, you know, in uh, revising the, perhaps the prefixes in here? Because many words say it's all about... Uh, uh, what, what, what's the connotations or uh, what you mean the context? Reality of declining insecurity and rising insecurity. It's almost like potato potato, right? Yes, it's that. But what is that? Why do you do declining insecurity? Despite, I mean, without saying the reality of declining insecurity, it doesn't mean that those who have seen some of this statement for the president and not doing him a whole lot of good. However, I, I keep saying it. Um, um, the one, some of the some of the best um, brain in journalism in the world are in this country, and they can you can see what happened with the premium time, the Pandora Papers. You see 
God came with the seed the bond, the seed nation in this day. Um, we have the all right, uh, God of first, stay with us uh, because we have lots to chew on, uh, especially when it comes to the semantics about Nigerian security right now.